<laughs> you know what? Someone, someone mute Mario. <gasps> you know what? There. These guys, they keep coming at me. Mario came at me. Zach came at me. Second time, right? They want more pizzazz. <laughs> Caming all over you, bro. Pizzazz. What do you want me to do? You want me to get up and dance? Please, guys, would you? No, that's not my jam. Guys, this is a Collecting Weekly Retro Unboxing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for tuning in this evening. We got a special show for you guys. I'm joined by Mario. What's going on, man? Hey, John. Glad to be here, man. Now, I got to say, that was good. All right, that opening was a lot better. It was a lot better than your Will Will Shatner impersonations you've been doing lately. Will (laughs) Shatner. How dare you? (laughs) Jesus. Danny, thank you for joining, buddy. How's it going, man? Jumbo. Good, good, good. Look at that beautiful daylight behind you. Always look forward to these. Right. What is this? Roasting sessions. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Can't believe you. And Zach, the ox father. Chamba, baby. Okay, man. All right, guys. Today we got a special one for you. We're doing the Anakin, Star Wars Anakin Skywalker, Dark Side Edition, um, 2018 Toy Fair exclusive. Uh, Special figure. Retail on this guy right now goes for insane prices. So we're going to get him opened up. And see, is it worth it? Now, Zach, tell me, who's in the chat, man? Uh, we got Toy Mafia. He says, yo, DA Collector, Popcorn, Danigan, Lee Walker, King Ding said, I'm excited to see Anakin in a museum pose and then crash off the turntable. <laughs> yeah. Alvin, <laughs> J. You started something, dude. I can't believe it. JB Collection, Mario, lots of angels in the chat. Hit those thumbs up buttons if you're watching live. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a good <clears> unboxing. You got the black gloves on. Safety first. Kind of Dude, John, you need to upgrade to uh, I was thinking one of those, those, those automatic rotating, rotating ones. Seasons. I was well. All I have to you do is put it back the in the microwave with the stationary. Ooh. Put it back in the microwave. Yeah, <laughs> no, do that, John. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Will what's up, Will? Yo, what's Will, up, what's going on? Friends? Thanks to everybody in the chat for tuning in. Doctor Will, right? Congratulations. Yeah, oh, he's a doctor. Right? What is he a doctor? He got his PhD. And then in feet. Feet. Is he foot specialist oh, or what? Pa- oh yeah, that's right. Podiatrist. A podiatrist. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. Dude. Happy. Congratulations. Congrats, bro. Good for wow. him. Single songwriter in the chat too. What's up, single song? Uh, What's JB going says, on, "Hey, three twenty for Mando Heavy. What do you guys think? It's not a bad Go price. For it. It's Buy just two. a little bit over retail shipped. That's fine." Mario, sell me that Alita, bro. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. Let's talk. Hell so yeah. this guy here came out in two thousand eighteen. <clears throat> And retailed for two seventy six US, if you can believe that. And didn't do so well in the beginning. Sat for a mm. while, a long um, time. Well, long actually, time. actually, in the very beginning, when it first dropped in SD in, the, in SDCC, it was hot. Everybody, it was, it was gone. It was only mm. SDC as a convention exclusive only. And everybody was and pissed that it didn't come out through Sideshow. Mm-hmm. Not when it only finally came out, and when it finally came out, it sat Boom. forever, dude. Yeah. And it was only when it hit, you know, that famous. Waitlist sold out. That sh- he just skyrocketed. I think we were talking. It's insane. The other day, there was a guy who purchased one for I think it was eight or nine hundred US. Like, oh yeah. come on, don't do so, that, guys. Don't. So uh, when this I... figure first came out, like Mario said, you had to pick it up at the convention. You could you could order it, but it was like when you order it, there was no shipping available. You had to actually show up to SDCC with your light with your ID and pick it up. Right after SDCC, it came out to like a, a wider release. A lot of people think the SDCC ones were painted better in the eyes. I, I don't know whether that's true or not. Um, but the interesting thing uh, was was when it was on wait list, um, not when it was on like, right right before it sold out, there was a lot of people that had it on payment plan. Because when it's kind of nearing wait list, you can kind of tell the way the site interacts yeah, with the figures right, like that, that. They're, they're about to sell out. And I remember uh, my grandfather was very ill and I was visiting him. And... Um, you know, we're hanging out. He's kind of taking a nap. And I'm looking at the groups. And this guy posts, like, hey, Sideshow just canceled my payment plan. And I'm thinking, that's odd. Like, he had already paid, like, four or five months of the payment plan. He was on the last payment. And they canceled it. They didn't have enough to fulfill the order. And right then and there, boom, everyone yeah. was putting up want to buy posts. eBay prices skyrocketed. It went to, like, four or $500. Mm-hmm. But Mario, you're absolutely right, John. You too. That figure sat 
below retail on the groups for mm -hmm. months. And it mm -hmm. wasn't until that day where that order got canceled and it officially sold out that it went nuclear. And now it's like you can't even touch that figure for like almost less than a grand. Dude, so it was like what, a year and a half or so that it, that it sat before it finally sold out? Yeah. Rainer, uh, Rainer couldn't sell his on the groups. I'm talking OSR, BST, Tashi, 1-6 San Antonio. I think he had it for like 180. Wow. Granted, it was it was yeah. opened. It yeah, was open and displayed. He could not Should've sell that Danny. figure. I think he ended up selling it for like 160. That's oh my crazy. gosh! Wow. He literally couldn't get rid of the fucking thing, and I think he sold the the light side Anakin for like 140. Like no one wanted to buy these oh, things. Man. He had it for I think I think he had both of them for like two hundred and then just kept Bofa? dropping the price. Bofa kept dropping the price, dropping the price, yeah. and then finally, finally. But I think out of the two, this is the favorite between the the light side and dark yeah. side, huh? No? I yeah. would prefer that one. Yeah. I think you're right, not for me mm -hmm. personally, but I think you're right. Now, before we get into the box, I want your opinion. Uh Primericus, what's going on? He Primericus says uh, Zach, that sure, you're a bad man. Dude, I fucking love it. I've only used it. This is the first time I'm using it, so I, I have no idea how it sounds. Is that a good, it, it is that a good microphone? The same. Come on. It yes. Sounds the same. I, I mean, I was already using a very professional broadcast microphone, so... Can I have the other one? No. <laughs> your, your fee finds even better, buddy. Yeah. Fee fine, baby. What's going on, James? Thanks for tuning in, man. Um, what's up, James? Sean, what's going on? <sighs> yeah, Sean says the this, uh, this figure's funny. Bought two at retail, then tried to sell one later. It was months before it sold at below retail mint in sealed wow. box. Oh, Pembroke says, "Good to see the urn." Also, I had to I had to bust out the urn because it's become a meme on unboxings, like the microwave plate, figures falling down, <laughs> us tearing each other apart to pieces. I had to bring the urn out just to celebrate. Hell yeah, man! Now I want to know from you guys what do you think? Um, before we get started, what do you think about them re Hot Toys reissuing this figure? Do you think it's going to happen? Of course. I don't know though, because they they just put out the the clone armored version. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that it'll might, happen eventually. That might but satiate the collectors a little bit. Is that the word of the day? Satiate. Yes. Oh boy. Wow. But um, no. How about when um, Obi Wan comes out the show? Do you think it may spark? No, because he's Darth Vader at that point. Yeah, but you never. Yeah, know. that's if true. We get, but if we get like a a glimpse or a, a scene, no. I don't think I, so. I hope so. I hope but, you're because right. the thing is, the thing is, this is very scene specific, right? Yeah. You, you know, with the base and everything. Not only that, his um, his eyes aren't even yellow in that entire scene. This is very scene specific. Mm -hmm. If they're gonna reissue an Anakin, uh, I think it's gonna be the light side light Anakin side. for okay. for a flashback. One because I think that's the more that kind of fits in more with what you see in the show, the shows rather, uh, and then. Two, it's not a Toy Fair exclusive, right? I I know they just kind of did like the the remake mm. of the the uh, Begins Toy Fair exclusive, mm -hmm. but I can't. I just can't imagine that they would reissue a convention exclusive. What do you think, Mario? They did though. You just said it with the be <laughs> That's no, not a reissue. That's not a reissue. That's a remake. Take a swig. Take There's a, swig, a huge dude. difference between the reissue and the remake. Well, it's just the head sculpt, right? The portrait. <laughs> you heard the ASMR. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a reissue, though, my guy. That's, it's a, a, that's a Okay, it's 95.99% well, they, a reissue. They're not advertising it as a 3.0 either. Yeah. Right? It's, it's so. just the difference of a head sculpt, and it doesn't have the grapple gun. That's mm -hmm. that's the difference. The suit is still uh, half assery. Yeah, I mean, no, you're right. That's the only thing that I can think of off the top of my head that was like considered a convention-exclusive reissue, while, while you say it's technically not a reissue. However, they did they did do the Nightmare Batman. However, they, they did it in a two pack. That's true. So I think it's possible that they may, if they do decide to reissue this, maybe they could do it with uh, with, with Obi Wan as a two pack. Yeah, that's fucking or, smart. Or either that, or what if they did, or what if they finally Vader. give us a uh, the DX that Ooh, everybody Vader originally wanted with with uh, with a light side Anakin with a dark side head, or or what or whatever. I know a lot of collectors were really were really screaming for that when the first light side Anakin came out. They're saying, "Hey, this this should have been a DX figure yeah. with a second head sculpt with the Sith eyes and everything." So. But regardless, I don't think it'll be the same with the same, and we'll get into it. The same base. Um, I don't think so. Either. Yeah, I don't think so. They could do something like depending on what armor Vader wears for the Obi Wan uh, show, 
if he's rocking the uh, what's it, Revenge of the Sith armor, which is a little bit different than all the other ones. Mm-hmm. That'd yeah. be a cool two pack Dark Side Anakin with, uh, mm. or like yeah. a Dark Side stripped down Dark Side with uh, the Revenge of the Sith armor. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool to see if we get like a, a headless or a maskless Hayden sculpt also with Vader. Oh, that would be that, spicy. That would be, nice. that'd be cool. That would be, be spicy. Nice. We'd have to but wait. Do we and know see. that the Anakin's coming back as Vader or? What if it's flashbacks? I think they confirmed that Hayden They confirmed that in Hayden the, uh, is confirmed, yeah. He's in the show, yeah. They That's confirmed no, but as Darth Vader? I, I don't know or, <laughs> I said it like that. Or like a flashback Anakin? They didn't specify. Well, we don't know that for sure, but we'll see. You know if he's coming back as flashback that. Anakin, then yes, I think they'll reissue. But if not, then I don't think they will. Yeah. John, what do we got here on the turntable? We got, hmm. this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's get I started. think James just gave me a nickname, the professor. I like that. I don't, I don't, I don't hate it. I love it actually. I like that. I love it not actually. Bad. It's not bad. Uh, at all. James, I did send you an email. You might want to double check that you got it. Star Wars box, typical box. You guys know the black and gray. Nothing exciting there. Pop it open. We got this nice sleeve here. You know how it is. Yeah, these Star Wars boxes are so boring in the front, man. Yeah. I really oh, wish yeah. Disney would allow more creative uh, artwork on these things. Um, Obi-Wan. It's all the figures. It's, it's nice. You got the Vader helmet here. It's not bad. What are you going to do? I, I like to one day get these all f- somehow framed or something like that to, to go with the figures. I think it looks really good. And here he is. John, um, James wants to know if this was sealed. This, okay. So this is going to be, this is a unboxing slash showcase uh it, it's a 2018 um toy for exclusive so it's not that old it's not that retro we're not talking about 10 years ago i had him displayed a bit put him back in the box back and forth so he hasn't been in the box like the enter base stuff i've done but yeah um he's been in the box you're gonna see uh the condition of the well hopefully the condition of the outfits may i ask why he was boxed to back up Ah, because I'm just moving around my collection, man, back and forth. I still haven't gotten the the space uh, set up the way I want it. So I've been going back and forth. But we're working on it. Okay, let's see Can here. Can you straighten out your microwave? Danny's got the OCD tonight. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> actually, that was, bo- that was actually bothering yeah. me, too. Was the, rings are, the rings are bothering me, man. And it's not microwave, I'll say it for the 30th time. <laughs> I thought you said it was microwave. It wasn't. It's. I told you it's for the outside deck table. If it if it is a microwave, that's a big ass microwave. It's not because look, see the hole. Why would the hole be here? This is for the umbrella. Oh my God, how many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> so if you spill the water, it just goes up and beneath. <laughs> Pemrick has said it was bothering him too. Why don't you guys just the nitpicky crew today? Hey, hey, what's up, Letty? We Letty, love what's you. going on? This is a. This was coming from a place of pure love, oh, my guy. Sweet Letty. Sweet Letty. So guys, this is the oh, this is the base here. John, when we get some downtime in this unboxing, oh. I need to make an announcement. Sweet Sounds Eddie good. Maestro, oh. also. Really nice job on the base. Uh, the flame effect looks really good. We'll light it up as well. It takes uh, three AAA batteries, so I got that set up. We'll uh, unscrew that and and get it all lit up. That's a nice base. Man. It's a beautiful base. One yeah, of the best, really, I think. Yeah, they really knocked it out of the park with this one. Yeah, it's one of the best. I concur. Alrighty. It was pretty cool. I was able to get that uh, fit in the Manji case. I, so I went ahead and shuffled the display this week a little bit. and uh, Just to add some other older Star Wars figures that I have in the collection. And um, I'll be shooting a collection video hopefully soon. Hey. To get it up for our, for our special Sweet. coming up. And yeah, when I put this one in, man, it looks so freaking good in the Manji case with on top of the. That's the first time I was able to display it on top of the base, man. It looks so good. I love it. You get a total here of nine hands, plus the two, so nine hands including the two that are on the figure right now. Uh, you get the. This is the light up saber. Where the batteries go? You ever use those, John? I don't use these. I really don't use these. Me neither. No, absolutely not. I pull the batteries out typically just so that they don't explode in there, and then I never use them. Uh, we got the, the LEDs on those are so weak, man. Oh, they're dude, only good you know for what? like the, the bottom of the hilt or where it first ignites, and then 
Yeah, it doesn't really work for the rest of the I forgot to pull out the batteries for my Jedi Luke. Really? Oh no. <laughs> it's all fucked up, dude. If you guys want to pull up the other. Oh, here, I can pull it up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Well. I got you, I got you. Awesome. What a guy. It's a really good detail on the hill. Yeah, that's a nice hill. Yeah, so it looks really good. And then just the typical blue mm -hmm. plastic. And then you have the. This is the one where it looks like he's swinging it. Where you at? <laughs> oh, got me With chasing you all over the place. I've never used these, but yeah. they always look so good when I see other people using them. I, they never look good to me. Yeah. I, I don't know if they just photograph better than they display, but when I see people using them, I'm always super impressed. I think you really got to get that dynamic pose yeah. um, to get that effect. But I have mine using with with, uh, with Endor Luke as him kind of like, like swinging the lightsaber back like that, just using that blade. It looks really good. Like, good. like John I'm said, if you, have that, if you have that dynamic pose, it will, that, that swinging blade looks really good. Yeah. You got this robotic, his robotic arm, which is nice. All the fingers, the tips, the, everything is they jointed. Well, I all never knew they moved. They all move. Yeah. It's like it, three it's points. like a Terminator. Well, yeah, I don't own this figure. articulation. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, I was telling John earlier, like, this is one of my favorite, or the figure that I do not own, but I always thought they did, like, a really great job. Yeah. And John, give Danny a Jamba. You can see the... Oh, give him a jumper? How am I gonna do this here? Is it just the three? It's the pinky and the thing, right? Eh? Oh, it's just a hang oh, loose. Big fan. Big fan. <laughs> I did. Doesn't it. even know the meme. Jamba. There we go. Jamba. Say it. There we go. Jamba, Say buddy. It's Jumbo. It's Jumbo? Yeah, it's Jumbo. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the fuck it is. Man. And then you can see the detail inside. Dude, I really the want to detail. display this arm, man. Put your so hand nice. out. It's such a shame to leave that, that accessory in the box. It, looks it so is. Good, it man. really is. If you want to swap cameras, I'll see if I can get a little bit of a better angle. Go ahead. You can see inside. Pemrica says if the figure falls, I'm going to die. I'm not going <laughs> to fall. Don't worry. Stay tuned, dude. We're taking oh. bets. What's the over-under? All, the, <laughs> all the detail there. Looks great. I'm taking, uh, I'll send the bar 60%. Wow, yeah, I think I think it's 80%. 80%. You guys are just... just <laughs> We love you, okay, man. let's get to the meat and potatoes here. Well, the body's 20 times better than Enterbase body, that's for sure. And the way you're handling it is turning me on, bro. You just fucking gripped mm. it. Okay, let's see. With the gloves. Oh. That was some ASMR, bro. You got to get that next to the mic. <laughs> John, do that again? <laughs> you did a little... <laughs> oof. Huh. It's like, oh, John, yeah. John was like, oof. <laughs> oof. Oh yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's look at this here. Please, this, this, didn't this you take the, the the neck off plastic it? off? No. Never. There was oh, so staining. Do, do you seriously display it with the neck plastic I, on? There was staining on the neck. Do Some of mine, outfit. I do. Yeah. Y'all are wild, bro. Y'all are staining. Wild. The outfit was staining. Y'all are absolutely hell no. savages, bro. Y'all probably wear socks with sandals. What's wrong with that? We do that okay. here in Kelly. Swap the cam again. Uh, Depends if you're doing slides or, <laughs> you know, the up. other kind. You did a really good job, man. Uh, oh, <clears> the <throat> eyes move. I no, it's no no purrs, but you can see the dark, the eyes, the Sith eyes look awesome. They look really good. Yeah. <clears throat> and the overall yeah, man, looks great. Sculpt of the hair. Really well done. I always thought this is one of the best sculpts. Yeah. I'm just, I'm really not, just not a fan of, I'll be honest with you, if you want to swap. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Sean Usby says, we do not do that here in Cali. OG Fan says, I'm with Zach on this one. Eddie Maestro says, I do wear socks with sandals, no. though. I'm just not a fan of the, of the cloak on this figure. Like, it just looks, I, I, I probably, probably need some futzing. You need some major futzing with that. You can make it look really good, dude. Can we yeah. futz wanna... it live? I, I kind of want to oh, take please. it off. Yeah, John, can we... Fuck it, take it off, dude. Fucking I want to take it off on. so we can see. Take it off, Can Daddy. you give us a treat? I can we pose this one today? Yeah. We're going to pose it. We're going to pose Since it. this figure can be posable, oh, it's right? like a, It's a sin to have this cloak on here with this outfit here. What's up, Pablo? Mm. What's up, Sunnyvale? Okay, What's cloak's up, off. 
Um, nice material, man. Really nice material. It drapes so great, but honestly, the one six kit they did a a run of of uh, capes were a little bit longer in the sleeves than longer in the length. Yeah, and I think those are just so much better than the hot toys. Uh, that's what kills it though is these sleeves. They're like just massive. I, I'm I'm just not. Well, they're fan. supposed to be massive. <clears throat> yeah, aren't they supposed to be? Well, they're not fitted, my guy. It's so you can swing that lightsaber, bro. Now this this looks good, man. This looks pretty good. Look. Dude, that palm's ready to grab some Padme ass. Reef, but... <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Oh, man, that was good. That was great. It looks like the outfit's really nice. Pleather's in no good shape. No signs of flaking or anything? No, no, God forbid. My God, don't even say that over here. Uh, no signs of flaking. Everything seems to be in good order here. Dude, Pablo, um, it's a Superman S curl. You got the, the back there with the pouches. Here are the boots. They look good. Are good you gonna shape. put some three hundred three on that? No, they're all they're in good shape. Again, I'm it's only. Fan. I'm not a fan of this design. I really wish that this could have benefited from a from a split cut design. With the it's scar. probably like a more sturdier plastic than what the pleather that they use for the boots. Look at the scar I don't on like the face. They do that. Dude, Pabrika with the the hard hitting questions. What's he say? Do the knees bend? No, Read the question. It. They only bend forward. Do the knees bend the other way? He's doing a curtsy for you, Pamrikas. The other way, John. <laughs> Alright, let's get him pulled up. You guys keep conversing. This, this I'm gonna, is a treat. I'm going to put the batteries in the, fig, the, the base, and we're going to get this going here. Can't wait for this. Wow. I, <laughs> I, I like the support. Thanks, buddy. You got it, bro. Hey, man. <sighs> It's just it's just with given uh, with recent track history, bro. Oh, dude, the tool set. The tool set. And which one are we gonna use here? Is this one. Why are they all wangos, bro? You gotta put them st straight. Though. I dropped them on the floor before the show. <laughs> <laughs> like, you fucking animal, dude. I was like, tell me why this dude keeps the figure wrapping on the figure, and then the screwdriver set looks like that. What's up, Mr. JB? Don't What's make going no on, sense, buddy? my guy. Mr. JB says, does it smell new? Minty fresh, really. Dude, Mr. JB's I avatar looks like Macho Man. Macho Man? Yeah, OG makes Mr. a good JB? point. He says, don't wait till the leather wears to condition it. Take care of it like your skin. Yeah, Jadon. I don't oh, condition my skin. My skin is naturally... It's naturally greasy. Naturally perfect. <laughs> just the insults on this channel. Hey, guys, it's just always insults. No, okay, you guys love ready? you, John. Let's make sure it works. All right, let's make sure it works. Moment of truth. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, nice. I didn't know the eyes light up. Yeah, I didn't know the yeah. droid. I didn't even know it was... Dude, that looks so good. Let me see what I can do here. Hold on. So wait till NYC makes that droid. Thank you, Pablo. It. it was it was very stressful. That looks awesome. It's probably my last unboxing ever. <laughs> that was the, fun. The eyes... Sorry, says, go ahead. Danny's unboxing of the Biker Scout is classic. <laughs> Dude, that actually glows really well. Yeah, John, the, you can actually get one of those uh, battery uh, where you can plug it into the wall. And yeah. it uses like a few dummy batteries and uh, one that's powered. Okay. You can basically... Actually, no, I don't know if you can do it with that one. Because I think that one turns off after 15 minutes. Does it? Wait, I it's think got an auto, so. automatic... We'll wait and see. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And then here you have all these rubber like hoses. Dude, John, that's the innovation you've been wanting, man. Yeah, well, with the Iron Man figures. Well, I mean, you still have to turn it on every time. I mean, it doesn't turn itself on automatically. Anyways, it looks pretty good. I think it's I like the it. eyes. John, John covers the hole. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, Danny, man. Fuck. <laughs> Look, he went back to it. It's, that's because it's dead center. You need the figure dead center. Oh Jeez. man, that's fucked up, dude. Okay, guys, let's get this posed up here. We're gonna. This is the treat I've been waiting for. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a nice simple pose. Oh, oh come on, God, come on! With his two <clears throat> fingers, I actually really like this hand. I'm gonna show you this hand. I saw pictures of it. I really like it. Yeah, do him doing like a a form seven, whatever. <laughs> We're getting better at posing. We're getting better. Lightsaber thing. 
<laughs> Sean Usby says hard pass. Pemrick says you guys make my week. What a fucking guy Pemrick is. <laughs> I love that guy. All right. There's not a, a place on that base for the crotch grabber. You just have no. to put them on there. Yeah. Wow. John, OG Star Wars fan is asking for your peel box number so we can send you a proper turntable. Bro. No, man, I love this turntable, man. <laughs> Dude. Dude, I wouldn't turn that down, man. Yeah, I wouldn't turn down a turntable, my guy. Those are like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. <laughs> we got money like that. <laughs> While John's doing that, I just wanted to touch base with everyone. So um, if you're a Patreon uh, in patreon.com, we did uh, put up the Silver Surfer art print for June, so you can download that, print it. Print's great at 11 by 14. Uh, one thing also, uh, we did get a proof for Super Chat, so that'll be starting tomorrow. No pressure or anything, but it is there if you guys want it. Uh, and then uh, for the Patreon no stuff also, <laughs> yeah, no pressure, hashtag Fondi Alita. Uh, we did, uh, <laughs> we, did um, we did mail out everyone's stuff today, so... Uh, if you're a patron, you'll have all your stickers and swag. And we also threw in a bonus signed item for every single Ooh. Patreonium. Uh, we haven't we haven't shown you guys this yet, so when you get it, it'll so you'll see it Zach, for the first time. Outside that bonus, remind us again what do, what do we get this month? Uh, so this month was the small talk sticker, and then the Ox Father sticker, and then we also did a little thank you thing for you guys. And it was nice because I got together with Rainer, Dean, and Manny, and the Founding Fathers, we signed those cards. So uh, just a little thank you card from us for uh, helping us get to 1,000 subs uh, and supporting the network. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice little Patreon package. So those yeah. went out today. Everyone should be getting them probably by the end of the week. What's up, Mark? Mark Pearson in the chat says, sorry for his tardiness that he got caught up in marital relations, bro. Aggressive negotiations, you mean? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I love this! I love this. This is, this is honestly my favorite stream of the week. If I'm being completely honest, come on. CW is so is. much, so much pressure. I gotta, gotta press all these buttons. This one, I just, dude. I just this relax. is the only stream I would attend to. Of course, you're, you're not. Well, you come on after dark too sometimes. Sounds all right, what do we got, John? Show me what we got. Hold on, hold on a second. We're, we're gonna the go to the out there. Back it up. Back it up. The whole game. Back it up, Terry. We're gonna, we're gonna do something here. Hold on a second. Okay, guys, so over under 60%, this thing's going to fall. It might, Dude, because it's actually that's not. That's a yeah. pretty good odd. That's Dude, a pretty that good. Pose? Did it? Oh, something just fell right <laughs> there. <laughs> no, nothing <laughs> fell. Nothing <laughs> fell. Nothing no, fell. let me see it. Let me it was take the charger. It, it was the charger. I have the hey. full. I got the full hey, plug zoom in. into his face. Zoom into his face. Like you guys did to me. <laughs> James uh, said, my mother keeps asking, who is this Zach that's sending you stuff from Texas? <laughs> <laughs> OG says, it's falling. Pembroke says, clipped at. <laughs> okay. Look at this base, though, man. This is uh, this is a sexy base, man. Dude, it really does look good. Is, it really does look good. I wish, I honestly wish they made a, a convention-exclusive mm. Obi-Wan with, uh, with some sort of something to go with this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A piece of rock, the high ground, even. Like, even this um, here? This this uh, rubber. These are all like rubber little tubes there. The wiring. Love to see it. The wiring. Yeah, those Speaking eyes of... look. Are those blue or are they white? They're blue. Man, those look <clears> almost like a little like a purple actually. Yeah. What were you saying, Mario? I was gonna say. Speaking of high ground, I saw something solicited that actually depicts that scene. It's supposed to be an announcement tomorrow, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Whoa! Like a statue. Yeah. Fan Possibly. Possibly. Fan Possibly. Wow. Possibly. This Why are his the, legs looking like that, my guy? This is the top of the base. It's like a baby That's pony. Another. There's his boots. A baby pony. <laughs> you know when they're newborn and they, they can't really. <laughs> no, what? it's like a baby giraffe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, okay. John, kind of bow legged. The Let's anticipation see. is killing me, man. John, and you got those knees turned correctly. Cr Listen, uh, he's getting ready for Danny's prostate <laughs> exam. What the? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How my Jesus. butt hurts. <laughs> Bend over. No, I'm kidding. But I love this figure. I think it's, it's really Luke cool. Luke and Leo are made. Um, <laughs> the two like, finger salute. Did his, at, did his neck get burned? He's got no, some. No, it's. I keep the plastic. Shut up bandage. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are horrible. I keep the plastic because of. Uh, I've seen a lot of stories where the ink or the dye from the material goes onto the 
neck, so I said forget about it. Yeah, but but what's John? What's worse though, having a splotch of ink that you're never gonna mm. see, or always being able to see that white plastic? I don't mind the plastic. I think John's oh, the most my. like the most scared person to ever touch his figures that I know. <laughs> oh, Danny, you. I think you're right. I asked him to do a collection video. He said he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to even look in the direction. No, that's not true. You tell him the <laughs> I'm just truth. Kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's not true. Okay, so what's the next pose we're going to do? Yeah, do a good pose, bro. You want to do another one? Well, I okay. want to do a pose, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do like a like an action pose. Okay, zoom out. Uh, go to the next camo. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Right, but, that's, keep our, but that's all I practiced. Again. No, I'm what? kidding. You, you practiced pra- was... for that? Oh, man. <laughs> Dare you. Do something with the feet. I don't know what to do with the feet. I'm not a fucking poser, man. I'm... I can tell. <laughs> you don't need to tell us, John. <laughs> Dude, look how good that the Iron Man is posed up there and the detox. Yeah, Detoff. look at that. The, the marks, uh, the Mark Three. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a statue. <laughs> oh, you guys are. You know, it's the comedy mm. club here. You know, it's the freak the comedy peanut club. gallery. What we got here, a fucking comedian. All right, <laughs> laugh factory, it. baby. <clears throat> I just pre-ordered yeah. the the storm today. Nice. When's it coming out? Uh, they didn't say, but I think the the payment plan. I did like three three payments. It mm-hmm. was like uh, May, April, May, twenty twenty two. Metamorphic Customs says no neck staining on mine. I guess I'm lucky. No, Shout out here. to the dude that called me a potato head. That shit was fucking hilarious. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> called you potato head. See, some guy- some goober in the comments. <laughs> like a week ago, on, 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 or from the Queen sh- Studios unboxing. <laughs> Dude, we should all wear red shirts. Dude, we should. Oh um, man, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, I got some, I got something it. with the legs. I got something with the legs. You ready for this? Okay, let's see. All right, let's see, John. Come on, let's get this over with. Look at that. No, why is his knee, his knee is bent in the wrong direction? Why John, is his knee bent is, in the wrong looks direction? The it, looks like, pose. it looks like he's got his hand on his hips. He's gonna cut off his his fake hand. John. John, come to, on! Are you doing an upskirt? No, I was oh. just trying to. I was trying to set it up so I can try doing it again. I, I think it's perfectly posed. Well, um, it's stoic. He's kind of like he's knock kneed. He's what? Knock kneed, like the way his knees are. I think the knees look. Oh, I thought you were trying to say a Star Wars <laughs> character. James is asking, <laughs> "What is this?" James, all, okay, take me off this camera. Same I can't believe you guys. <laughs> Oh man! Come on, John. Here, let, let, let's take, pull up a pose. Three. Hang on. Let's find a pose, and then we'll we'll post. We'll share the screen, and then John has to match the pose. Okay. No, no, good. don't be doing that because you're gonna find. First of all, I'm bending the foot here, and it's freaking. It's <laughs> freaking. John's already getting flustered. It's, it's freaking. Look, it's bending the boot. I don't like look, this. What's that? A boot? <laughs> this was your idea. Okay, I got an idea. Here, this is an easy pose. You got to be able to do this one at least. Okay, I got a good one. I got a good one. Go. No, no, no. I'm gonna. No, hold on. Let me show you this no, one. Go. No, Let me I just don't... show it to you. Go. Oh, Mario. John, Mario. stop being funny, guy, dude. Go, do Mario. Pose. All right. What? That's perfect. The knee's what perfect. The, what is the, the leg, Captain Morgan? <clears throat> oh man, you guys. So, this John, is... what? What's the John? Do this one. This is so easy. This is so easy. Just bet, double, double the lightsaber. And then straight up and down. That's so easy. Yeah, at least twist the torso a little bit. Yeah, you gotta twist the torso, my guy. No, I don't like to twist the torso because then it's. Twists. You gotta twist. It's this is gonna be a new meme like the Seinfeld, Wait. the pivot. You gotta twist the torso, John. There you go, John. Here's one for you. You Ooh, got yeah. two poses here. You can do the either Obi Wan's or Anakin's. Okay, I got. This. I got this. That doesn't I got make this it difficult. Now. And you can even now. use the, the the swooshing effect. I got this now. All right, let's okay, see. I'm excited. I'll, Hang I'll on. leave it Hang up on. here for reference. Yeah, let's. Okay, it. this is not bad. You got to give me some credit here. Wait, you're okay, not what's, done. What's not? You're bad? done already? <laughs> I'm done then already. It's not... Oh, no, I'm not doing this gosh. one. Go watch. This is not bad. It's not bad. What you do? You turn the <laughs> turn the head a little bit. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> is, like... he the, is he the fonds going into the bar? Like, hey, Dude, what is like... that? <laughs> he's like, smell my fingers. <laughs> he's not even holding the lightsaber right. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Oh my gosh! You guys are. Oh, you know, I'll give God. you credit for the for the for the feet and the legs. You're kind of doing something there, I guess. Oh, no, I'm not gonna give him credit. I'm I mean, sorry. You guys looks are like horrible. He's doing the Texas two-step. Dude, can you? He's doing the cha-cha slide. <laughs> can you? 
Dude, take that two fingers out and put a different grip in. He's not even holding the saber right. <laughs> all right, all right. Enrico says he's about to unfriend you, John. I can't believe you, bro. Anakin is you classically imagine? trained. <laughs> Anakin the mind. Dude, I'm praying for uh, Active Nature to come in and just blow that figure off there. Wow, you're, you know you are. You're a straight up ass. For saying that. Nothing's going to blow this figure down. King Dingaling says that you might be better off with the museum pose. Yeah, I like the museum poses, guys. That's what I'm Sunny after. Sunnybell says that's one stiff Anakin. I'm not into... Oh, uh, I, lo- I like this. I, You know, I'll be honest with you guys. At first, I didn't like this figure. Um, I picked him up when he came out because I had some... I'll tell you actually what happened. I had a gift card to Sideshow for 100 bucks. Somebody? For 100 bucks, And I said, what the fuzz am I going to buy with this thing? So I said, okay, I'm going to buy this Anakin. I, it, it looked cool. It was a Toy Fair exclusive. I'm like, I'm going to buy this. Um, when I got it, I'm like, what the fuck is this? The cloak was hanging to the floor. I didn't like it. Boxed them up, whatever. And uh, But taking the cloak off, oh, love it. Love this outfit like this. The head sculpt, the portrait is spot on. The Dude, portrait. Get that figure out of my face. The portrait spot on. <clears throat> no, it looks really good, man. And I like it better than the light side. Dude, I really like that sculpt. Yeah, mm-hmm. the sculpt's perfect. But now that the I'm looking at it, it's the plastic. Leather, oh, oh the John, that, that, oh, that's going that's 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 to oh, stick, bro. dude. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, oh, boy. Spray some 303 on that right now. Okay, that's better. That's better. Oh, okay, oh much it's still better. there. It's still there. No, that's much better, dude, than before. Are you kidding me? Mark Pearson says that his Anakin has been standing for two years and it's the best figures that they've ever made. Yeah. I like this little curtsy we're doing here now. Real quick, James, uh, Eddie is in the process of moving. Um, so he might be taking this week off to get his stuff situated. Wait, I thought he was doing something in the mountains. He's moving into the mountains for work and then moving. I don't know. He's doing something. I was just giving a <laughs> yeah, less complicated like reason. I thought he already lived in the mountains and he's moving out of the mountains. He's getting out of the cave. OG says his turtleneck is a bit pretentious. Metamorphic custom says it's a stoic, non-emotional face. If we put him in an action pose, it'll instantly look hilarious because the face doesn't match the pose. The case with no side toys. Yeah, <clears throat> that's true. John, do it. Do a. No, I'm not going to go against what the advice that Metamorphic provided to us. What's the matter with you? Shout out to the Rocketeer. <laughs> you finished what I was saying, man. Shout out to the Rocketeer 30 year anniversary today. Look at that. The who? Rocketeer, yeah. The Rocket who? The Rocketeer. Oh, Zach. Okay. Okay. Well, you're killing the, the, the stream, Medicom, buddy. Medicom 2.0. 2. Dude, 0, that baby. thing be looking like a chocolate Put that thing back. Put that thing away. Oh, let me guess. It's Medicom versus Hot Toys now. Which, no. Well, this... No, oh, you probably... Yeah, that probably... Well, sure. That figure probably... But this, this is a custom, though. It doesn't count. It looks good. Yeah, what this you... is a swapped onto a true type body. Yeah, it looks really good. Did you pick them up recently? No, I've had this one for about a year and a half, two years. It's a okay, great sweet. figure. Sweet. Yeah, overall, guys. So, like, so, John, do you think this is worth the money? Do you think uh, this is it, worth the eight hundred dollars? That's a great question. No. No. <clears throat> no. Hell no. If you want a dark side Anakin in your collection, then you know what you're gonna have to pay it. It's the same thing, like. K2SO. I missed out on K2SO. Really wanted him. I don't know if they're going to reissue him. Even if they did, I don't know if I can go against my my law of buying a reissue. But um, mm. I don't know. I don't know if I would pay eight hundred for this. Like it, it's it's just it's not that it's underwhelming. It just doesn't come with um, enough accessories to warrant that. That it has a beautiful base, but it doesn't come with enough to warrant that price. What else what would you, you want it to would come be? with? I think it comes with everything that it needs. It comes with everything that it needs, but it doesn't come with everything that it would need to warrant an eight hundred dollar figure. Like, you could pick else? up, you could pick up a two pack, uh, Boba Fett, that's coming out for. I see what John's saying. You know, for five mm-hmm. six hundred, right? I think that he's going for. What do you um, think would be a fair, like aftermarket price? Four fifty. Or second four fifty. Four fifty. Four hundred. Yeah, you guys yeah. are right on the ball. Four to four fifty, Matt. I don't feel right comfortable for an individual Hot Toys figure. To pay more than four four fifty Canadian, mm-hmm. I don't feel comfortable. Canadian, there. Canadian. So, so that's how much like is that 380, US? I broke US. that. I broke that mm-hmm. rule on one figure. Which was that? Which one? DX. O- OG Mando. Really? I that's paid... not even that good of a figure, dude. Honestly. Well, 
Um, uh, you're, you guys are like really praising it last year for the uh, for the yeah. It was a fantastic. Like Wait, anymore. why'd you pay so much, man? They just did a <clears> reissue. I mean, the, with the fans blurg. voted it. I didn't. Well, vote they it. did it with the blurg. I paid five hundred Canadian. Dude, you could have got a blurg with that. Yeah, well, I'll get Quill with the blurg, so it'll kind of work out. Now, if oh. they did a straight reissue, I would have cried myself to sleep. But um, yeah, guys. How often does that happen, John? It it happens. Um, <laughs> usually after dark, but. <laughs> Anyways, it's still light. It's still but light. Um, not not over here. It's not for us. But we, uh, I think it's a great figure. I think it's one of the best head mm-hmm. sculpts. I'll go out and say that. It's one of them. It's really up there. Yeah. Man. Even the like, the the heads the the way they did the curls on the hair uh, looks really good. Ooh, you that's see there? Shadows. Yeah. Very menacing. Yeah. Spot on. What do you guys think? I think his arm's tired. <laughs> you know what? It's the last time. You know what? This is the last episode that Danny's on, guys. I'm sorry. What? No, 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 no. I'm How joking. dare you? I'm Bye, joking. guys. I was like, I'm about to pull a rank. Danny, don't leave us. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, Danny's oh the show gosh. altogether. No, no it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an awesome figure, but but I agree. It's This thing isn't even worth more. I wouldn't pay more than 450 US, 400 mm-hmm. preferably. But no, it's, it's an amazing looking piece, and if you guys can get yourself a deal on it, I mean, by all means, just do so. I'll yeah, if, if you can find him for a good break, and mm-hmm. there, he's slowly dwindling. We heard about that guy who paid nine hundred, but I saw one for sale the other Ooh, day. That's crazy for five forty, so that's a big price gap. Yeah, it's huge. And and I really do p- think people are anticipating a reissue. I really do. USB City starting a new show called the Old School Unboxing. Just him and Danny every Monday. <laughs> um, I want to clarify: OG Mando is a great figure, but seeing all the stuff that the, the deluxe Baskar came with, and like half of that mm-hmm. shit should have just came with the first yeah, Mando, it was kind of yeah. left a sour taste in my mouth. Yeah, but at I least still the like the with the Baskar should have came with it. I still like the OG Mando armor. Like yeah, the way mm-hmm. it looks, the design wise, yeah. it looks better. I think it looks great. They just go really well together. Both, if you have both, because you can share the both accessories. Of both. Of them? Um, but yeah, I, I overpaid for that one a bit, and I'm not happy about it. Yeah, no, I I share the accessories on mine also. I got like the the baby yos in the pram walking right Me next too. to him on one side, and then I got the the Camtona with the best car on the other side. But it works out. It works out. I really let's like let's just take a little. We kind of did the unboxing, but let's just take like a five minute little segue. Right now, okay. if you guys were to with everything that's been released, what would you say is your all-time favorite hot toy issue? To that this we day? own, or not, not that you own, just in general. Well, it's kind of hard have... to place favorites if we don't have it, right? Well, um... you you've seen videos, you've seen. Just because you don't have it doesn't mean you have. No, it. yeah, there's figures like like this Anakin. I never thought it would fit my collection, but I never bought it. But right. I think it's one of the best figures ever made. Yeah, like or even if you go to a shop, you see something displayed. That you haven't bought, what would your uh, what would your vote go to? Top five. Uh, let's do top two. <laughs> top five. Top five. Yeah. Like, I wanted top to do. Five. I wanted to do the top one, but if you want two or top three, I thought you said say. five. I thought you said five. Oh, you five. thought I said five? Okay. I thought uh, you can't just five. drop this shit on me cold turkey. You can't just do no. Okay. Then okay. We, top five hot toys ever not made. Not top five. Top three. Then let's top five's, three. Okay. Five's a little much. Okay. He's actually that we've, that we've owned, right? Not that we've owned, that that they've released. <laughs> okay, let me think. It can't be we've owned because all I have is troopers. <laughs> <laughs> well, your decision should be rather easy then. Okay, I'll start. I got okay, one. Uh, I'll start. I'm gonna go with, I think, their Ghost Rider that they did with the bike. Oh, that was mine, bro. Hmm. Just okay. kidding. Well, really, no. That I love that figure. Um. My other one I really enjoy is, besides the cracking, the Iron Monger. Mm. I really like the mm. way that displays. And for third one, I think I'm going to go with their King Leonidas, the 300. Really? I like that figure a lot. Huh. Because yeah. he's half naked. It, how'd you know? <laughs> or or it's not 80% that. naked. It's those nipples. But then now I gotta squeeze in the Godfather too. Shit, it's just too many. Eddie, but, uh, I have not sold Deluxe Mando yet. I'm still thinking about it. What would you say, um, Mario? 
or the professor? It's kind of it's kind of hard off the top of my head because kind of all over the place. But some of the ones that I have in the collection right now, in no particular order, I want to say the uh, the DX15 Jack Sparrow. That's a that's an amazing yes. looking piece with all the so accessories good. it comes with, mm -hmm. you know, with the shark and the I regret cannon. Selling mine. Like, that's a really really good figure, man. Um, I'm still I'm still a huge fan of the War Machine Mark One. Right. Um, oh, wow. I've loved. I've always loved that armor. One of the first, uh, I think, I had it originally when the um, what was it? The SH Figure Arts that did it way back in the day, and that's when I really fell in love with the design. So I was then I picked up the Marvel Legends for it, and then when I wanted to get the Hot Toys, but only the plastic one at the, at the time, and they were having all kinds of problems with it, so I never picked it up. So until the uh, the diecast one got announced, I was like, oh, I can't, I can't miss out on that. And when I got it, man, it was so it was. It was absolutely beautiful. The, it's so big. The weight, the size of the figure, along with all the battle damage parts, it's it's an amazing figure, man. And this is the diecast one you're saying. That's the diecast one. Yeah, the diecast yeah. Mark One War Machine, and War Machine is probably my favorite character in the MCU. So. Oh wow. You know, it's a win-win. Awesome. So, ah uh, man, as far as a third one, geez, this is so hard. Yeah, I'm hard, having a hard time finding a third. I wanna. I, I can I can like take the easy way out. Are we just talking six scale only? No. Yeah. No. Oh, it's up to no. you. Yeah. No, right. it should be hot toys. I, I said hot toys in general. No, no, hot toys. No, you did. You just say hot toys. Oh, yeah. you want to go quarter scale? Okay, quarter yeah, scale. go ahead. I'm gonna give myself the uh, the quarter scale Vader. I love the unhelmeted portrait of that guy. Yeah. And it's just it has just so much present. It's it's just him standing there in a basic pose, just like looking at you is can be it can come off as so intimidating. You yeah. see a big ass Vader just staring there, you're like, "Yo, what's what the hell is that?" You know. And along the head sculpt, I thought uh, looks great. Um, comes with a decent amount of accessories with all the hands and a little display base where you could put either the extra head sculpt or the helmet on. It's great. I really, I really enjoy that piece a lot. Yeah, those are so, some awesome choices. <clears throat> I agree with you with the the quarter scale Vader. Uh, that's an awesome piece. I, that's mm -hmm. one I missed out on and I regret. But um, he looks really awesome. How about uh, yourself, Danny? Okay, my first two. First is uh, the Reeves Superman. Oh, God damn it, mm. Danny. <laughs> and then, uh, Bitch. Jin Erso There's Deluxe. There's so many. Jin Erso, okay. And the third one. The Infinity War. Uh, what's his name? Thanos. Yeah. That's a beauty, man. They nailed the head sculpt on that, and yeah. I like how they gave you the extra hand so you could just pose it like this, but it's just, it sucks how the lip, the articulation of the fingers, you just can't get that snap. Yeah. yeah. Or at least they could have at least give you, like, a static snapping hand. That would have been perfect. That would have, like, taken it to the next level, but that, that yeah, that's was a great figure. And, and I agree with you, because I, I remember walking into one of the, I actually walked into Toy Square here in uh, Ontario. You know it, Danny. You always mention it. And he had it displayed. Gorgeous figure, but when it hit the market, it just hasn't done well from day mm -hmm. one. I think because it doesn't come with much, right? But it's I don't a, even own it. It's such a crucial figure. It's such a crucial character yeah. um, that uh, it's shocking to see the, that it didn't do well. What are you going to do? Those are some good choices, though. Real and, quick, um, um, single songwriter is talking about the Punisher War Machine. Dude, I was looking at that the other night, and I was talking to, um, I was talking to Will about it, Will Foxification, and... I'm tempted to pick that one up. Also, alongside with the Midas, that's another one I really don't want to sleep on because I've always the Midas the looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful looking piece, the, the newest one that just dropped, and along with with this one. And I had them both on PO and canceled it, you know, just because Ooh. I wanted to drop it completely. But dude, they just keep calling back to me, and I'm like so tempted just to pick them up again. So I don't know, we'll see. But that is an amazing looking one too. The, yeah, uh, that's true, James. Punisher. Hulk was also one of my like on the. I was thinking about choosing. Yeah. The original Avengers all. But yeah, I was afraid the seams. But then the Thanos has seams too. Yeah. Or open seams. He aged, he's joints. aged well, that Hulk, uh, when it comes yeah, to the I think the it's body. the best one. Yeah. And, of course, last but not least, the Oxfather. No gangsters. So Danny chose one of mine, so I'm going to change one of mine. <clears throat> hey, which one did I choose? Reed Superman. Yeah. That figure is amazing. That figure is literally perfect. Yeah. I'm going to go Police Shootout Terminator. 
Ooh, I think it's a ooh, good figure. Yeah, ooh. that's nice. That's a good figure. And it's almost like when it the pleather starts to peel, it almost makes it look better because his jacket was fucked in that scene. Like, yeah, just, exactly. So it kind of lends it, to the yeah, character of, <laughs> yeah, the, it just uh, looks awful. of the jacket. Yeah. Uh, the next one, obviously, D, uh, uh, DX11 Joker. I think mm-hmm. it's so pretty universally weird. understood to be like the best Hot Toys ever made. Uh, mm. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hit y'all with a sleeper pick. Danny loves this one. Hot Toys: A New Hope Sand Trooper. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm telling you, it's the best figure. Be- excellent, perfect it's the weathering. Best trooper. Perfect accessories. The helmet sculpt, the armor sculpt is flawless. You even get the special edition droid, the floating droid in the background that you can take on and off the base. It, it's like a flawless figure. And it has a bunch of weapons too. Yeah, it's jam-packed. It's, it's, flaw- it's a flawless release. I remember mm. getting that figure when I had it, and I was like, God damn, how much shit did they put in this box? Because he has the backpack, he has the, you know, everything. Mm-hmm. It's it's ridiculous. A close second is the Jump Trooper for Best Trooper. Yes. Jump trooper? Really? The Jump Trooper? Yeah. It looks Dude, great. It's weathered so well, just like the sand. Uh-huh. Wow. But Sandy comes with a little bit more stuff, so that's why that will be number one. The body on my sand trooper is kind of like it's a little bit loose around the waist, so when I put the backpack on, it just tends to kind of topple back a little bit. So I got to play that little balancing act yeah. just to try yeah. to get him to stand upright. And also, joint too, juice, like, baby. the the joint plates, juice, baby. the armor plates are kind of kind of wonky, kind of loose. Well, at least to to me, they are. But one of the biggest one of my biggest gripes about the sand trooper was the um, uh, was not the pauldron, but the, the pouch that goes over his shoulder. That thing is known to snap when you when you put that thing on the elastic band that's on there snaps, snaps. so easily. Yeah, but elastic is so cheap. But you just buy more mm-hmm. elastic. Well, I was able to get another one off a of big band. And yeah, but it's not the too. true Hot Toys elastic. That's that's the. <sighs> it's elastic. Made in America, bro. baby. It's like I have regret. You know the <clears throat> Lieutenant Gordon um, figure, the just the SWAT version that they did. I you see. You guys it familiar with that one? Can you see it? Yeah. I regret he comes with two zip ties. I regret actually tying the zip ties on his outfit. <laughs> also, now it's stuck, right? Now it's stuck. Yeah, it's what okay. A fool. What an idiot! What what zip ties on his outfit are there? The zip ties he uses for handcuffs. You know the cops use for handcuffs. Yeah, they have like those tactical handcuffs. Yeah, and their zip ties. You use the freaking zip ties, really? They come with two zip ties, so I put them on his outfit to be accurate, right, on the shelf. Oh, all right, all right. So Dude, I'll buy that his, figure for you. Oh, what did you think? Uh, I went to the King store. Box. I didn't no, go. No, I thought. No, oh. I thought you like use, had like a, like it. some sort of display and just used and used it to tie up somebody. I don't oh know. no, no, I don't know. So. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, Yandu. I should have said Yandu. I totally forgot. Mm-hmm. Yandu is good. Hulkbuster. I don't think is top three. Maybe no. top ten. Not top three. See, I tried day, to pick. Hey, look. One day, let me let me put this out there. A long time ago, in Collecting Weekly, maybe like episode thirty, we did a figure draft. Where it was like fantasy, where you pick like a figure and then it goes to the next person, and at the end you had to make like a shelf. Like what you, if you had two detoffs, how would you arrange the figures to make like a, um, like a curated collection? We gotta do that one day. It was super fun. That sounds good. Yeah. Mm. It was like fi- it was like fantasy football, but with like Hot Toys figures. That it sounds pretty cool. I'm game well, for guys, that. those choices. They're pre- I, I agree with all of them. They were pretty awesome. I'm surprised um, no one said that I. Oh wait, Mario said War Machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, War Machine. I love that I've seen man. Hulkbuster in person before. It's a, I mean, it's a beautiful looking figure. Mm. Yeah, I, Seth has it. I've seen it before. Studios quarter scale though, man. That's, I was almost mm. going to say Mark Forty Six as one of my choices. Mark Forty Two, baby. That's nice. Huh, I can't. Nice, uh, Forty Six. I can't choose those Iron Man. I don't know why. I couldn't choose a trooper because I felt like. So generic. Needed need to sculpt, I guess. I love oh. the Death Troopers on a shelf. I think. Okay, Danny, you, what about what about the the Mando Scout Trooper compared to the Sandy? As far as like the weathering and all that, because the the Mando Scout Trooper looks amazing, dude. Yeah. And you have them both in hand, don't you? Yeah. So if you did like a side by side, does one stand up more than the other, or are they both on par with each other? What do you think? I think they're on par with each other, but I still don't consider. See, I still wouldn't have chose the Sand Trooper because. I just felt like, for me, I want to sculpt. Bias. Yeah, like I, mm-hmm. I, you know, if you're paying, you know, you're choosing that best, best, it needs a, a sculpt kind of, I guess. Yeah, but that Scout Trooper, bro, you said that was like your favorite armor. Yeah, it is. But I can't. Can't go back? I don't know. I can't choose it as, 
I mean, it's my personal favorite. Uh-huh. My favorite, but I don't think it's the best figure that's ever been made by Hot Toys. Mm-hmm. Right. Mark Pearson said that Danny hates Dan. <laughs> it's too coarse. Those creases. <clears throat> Gets everywhere. Gets everywhere. The, uh, this has been awesome, guys. Um, my recommendation is if you can find this figure at a good price, snatch him up if you haven't already. You're going to definitely pay above the $276 uh, retail price. but Just a few times more. Just a few times more. But I think if you can snag him at a good price, um, he's worth it uh, to have on the shelf. That, that head sculpt's on point. Uh, it's been a pleasure speaking and presenting this to you guys. Uh, the chat, everyone in the chat, you guys are awesome. Now, Zach, tomorrow we have the Collecting Weekly show. Uh, did you yes. want to drop some info on, on some of the surprises we're going to be uh, talking about? John's finally coming um, out of the closet. Wow, well, maybe <laughs> not sorry, this spoiler month. alert. Okay, I hate um, you. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow we're talking Black Widow Taskmaster uh, Dean may pre-order his first statue, and so we're going to talk about that. Ooh, well, uh, we pre-order? Christopher, I, I don't know about that. Christopher Letty from Six Gun Scavengers is going to join yes. us live to talk about uh, collectors meetups as the world gets back to somewhat normalcy. Uh, we're also going to talk our company's improving buying more than one version of a character in figure form, and uh, the movie of the week is Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight Rises. So. Should be a pretty good episode. We have uh, we have all those things planned, and then of course we're introducing uh, super chat, so that should be interesting. So it'll be it'll be a fun episode, and uh, I would imagine that um, I would imagine it's gonna be a pretty long episode tomorrow. So probably mm-hmm. hopefully two hours at least. Get comfortable. Two hours, no problem. Grab some snacks. No problem. Yeah, Couple Chris Letty being on there is gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be eye candy. Tomorrow. Hell yeah. Danny, you're going to hop on too, right? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, brother. Well, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Be sure oh, wait, to wait, there's in. also um, Rainer's Rarities this weekend, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah so we're this, doing on the 27th, yeah. so, so, collecting rarities. I guess let's go through the whole schedule. Sure. So CW Tuesday, Wednesday is after dark. We're going back to 1030 uh, to John's dismay. Um, okay. A lot of complaints, a lot of complaints. Um, I'll stay up for you guys. You guys we also it. have uh, Friday... In and outs of collecting. What time are we doing that, Mario? Uh, 8 p- p.m. Pacific time. Wow. There we go. Be 8 p.m. Pacific time. And then Rarities is uh, Sunday the 27th at 9 p.m. It'll be Rainer, Seth, and uh, Sean Lockridge. And then we also have uh, we have Small Talk on Thursday. So that'll be Thursday night. So it'll be great. Oh, yeah. They're, um, the Rarities is talking beer, right? Like yeah, they're talking. They're talking beer, and uh, hopefully, very tactfully, collecting adult magazines. Ooh, naughty Whoa. magazines! Yeah, so, so yeah, it's gonna yeah, be a double header. It's gonna be interesting. All the chat guys that are beer connoisseurs and porn connoisseurs. Yeah, porn especially. Yeah, it doesn't get any in. better than that. No. <laughs> what more? What more could you ask for? Exactly. Well, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Tune in this week for all the shows. Wish you guys all the best. Have a great day tomorrow. Take it easy. Jumbo. Jumbo, baby.